Ray's helmet setup. Well, welcome to Ray's Corner. We're going to set us up a motor vlog helmet. All right, all right. So what I'm going to do is make this video a lot shorter and I'm just going to reverse engineer what I did. A lot of the things that I already put together and, and that you saw in the first video or just if you're watching this for the first time, it's kind of common sense and it's things that you are going to have to pick up firsthand. Like if you're going to put together a certain mount, you want a side mount or if you want a front mount or if you want something on your on top or something. You just got to kind of do the work on that. So what I'm going to do is just reverse engineer what I did to my helmet. And I'm going to start with the actual speaker wire that I use. Now all I used was clear Gorilla Tape to secure the mic inside the helmet and I believe that it turned out rather well. I just did some tucking on the outside because the cable is so long. And wrap it around here with some Velcro cable ties. And there you go. This was the kind of speaker headphone wire that I used and it worked for me just fine. All you need to do, just cut it above the, cut it above the microphone. I put a little shriek ramp on it and that was it. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty much a done deal. Now on this muffler type thing, there's a hole in it I know it's kind of hard to see, but you just about, you know, finger tight right there. And you would normally just snake your wire through, but I didn't want this thing curving and the wire getting bent. So I did a little bit of extra work and sliced a hole in it and it just went in. You know, I made it like that inside. And this part, this tab I made, thankfully was long enough. I used that as a anchor point on the inside of my helmet. Now, as for the camera itself, I purchased this skeleton housing off of Amazon. And the nice thing about this one is it has the side cut out so you can put your audio cable in. And then the bad part is, is that it leaves it totally exposed. So unless you're gonna be doing totally dry weather filming, you're gonna need to put something on it. And I put on, I uh, packed it with uh, swimmers earwax takes one globule you know one little jelly bean thing and just pack it in pack it all around and you should be good to go but when you're done with your filming you need to get your card out you just it's a little bit jukey and it, it, it seems like it's going to be real sticky and messy but it honestly just balls up and collects on itself if you know what I mean uh, it sounds weird, but so there it is. Easy peasy. As for the audio cable itself, for your plug-in, I suggest you finding the audio port that has a 90 degree angle on it, because if you don't, you're going to have a harder time making your camera uh, more flush to your helmet, unless you want it way out here or whatever go with a 90 degree port. And they also, so mine is an upward facing one and they do have one where you can make it this way. I just bought the first one and it's worked fine with me so far. So on my Bose headset, it has the three, three line stereo um, lines and you need to do a step down. And there's a cable version of it and I was lucky enough to stumble across a just a plug version of it. On Amazon, it's called a TRRS to TRS. You're taking three of these down to two, 
plug it in, plug it in, and should be golden. Now the last part for my helmet on this helmet or any other helmet that I've done, I find that using as few parts as possible the best. And this kit is an aftermarket kit off of Amazon, costs around $10. And what you're looking for is primarily this elbow portion right here. Now, unless they make some piece that I don't know about, you're gonna need two more pieces and an extension to go out that's gonna let you kind of manipulate the camera back and forth this way. And then one that's gonna let you put the camera, um, shoot, sorry, like that. Hope that makes sense. Okay, so here's the finished product and how it sounds so far without riding around. The microphone is just just at the bottom of my mouth. I can feel the fluff on my bottom lip, so I'm going to have to trim that up a little bit. Hopefully that will, you know, take care of a lot of my mouth breathing into the mic. We'll see. My biggest concern with riding around with this microphone setup was the last one that I used with the uh, parts that I got from Amazon, the wire lapel mic, was at speeds above 30 miles an hour, it was uh, cutting out and getting all choppy and, and it just, you know, didn't, didn't sound good. So hopefully this is going to be that workaround. <laughs> 